कथा कथन स्टोरी टेलिंग स्टोरीज दट नॉट शू यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू स्टोरी फ्रॉम द बुक चिकन सूप फॉर द सोल इंडियन मदर्स अ स्टोरी रिटन बाय बिलवाड़ी रॉय मैसेज इन अ बॉक्स वन डे आई फाउंड अ नोट इन साइड माई जोमेट्री बॉक्स इट वॉज नो ऑर्डनरी नोट इट वॉज अ नोट दैट सेट लव यू माई हार्ट स्किप टू बीट आई कुड फील माई फेस टर्न रेड एंड स्टीम कम आउट ऑफ माई ईयर्स अ लिटल लेटर आफ्टर आई डिड कूल डाउन आई कन्फ्रंटेड माई टू क्लोजेस्ट फ्रेंड्स एंड गेव दम अ पीस ऑफ माई माइंड फॉर फूलिंग अराउंड विद मी दे वॉज स्टम्ड they said they had absolutely no idea what i was talking about they refused to believe what i was saying and i refused to believe in their innocence and the angry i got the more confused they were it dawned to me that they were probably telling the truth truly unnerved by this time i went back to my desk to take a closer look at the note the handwriting was familiar my heart started thumping was it her after all these days had she finally understood my feelings for her and did she respond the thought was sweet and intense at the same time my mind went into flashback mode for almost a year now i had been fascinated by sharmila and something deep inside me told me that she probably felt the same but i just couldn't be sure however the signs were all there i could sense her quietly watching me but the moment i turned my head she did look the other way I often heard her chuckling around me. Whenever I spoke to her, she always was warm and friendly. When I readily smiled, she smiled back at me. I never seen her spending quality time with other boys. I didn't know how to approach her though. She was so shy. not the kind to walk up to someone and offer a hand i was perplexed unsure if the time was ripe to make my big move to be sure that i was doing the right thing i asked a unknown friend a friend known in all of mine abhishek known as a guru of matters pertaining to opposite sex The next time you walk to her look down at her feet he said If they point in your direction that means the girl is in love with you And that exactly what I did the next time we spoke I looked down and yes she was crazy about me At last according to the body's compass needle of love her feet not wanting to waste precious time i wrote dear sharmila you are my red rose of love i folded a note in two and placed it inside her geometry box during lunch hour later at home that day i sat on the couch to watch television i wasn't watching tv i was actually replaying the day's event in my mind I just couldn't understand phantom what had gone wrong. What a day it was. Sharmila was quiet, no chuckling, no chit-chat. And the final bell. She had called me aside and asked, red-faced. I always thought of you as a good friend. You are such a nice boy. Why did you do this? I was speechless. My mother interrupted my thoughts when she suddenly came into the room and asked me, 
why don't you have the television on now normally her question would be why is the tv still on i rose to my feet switched on the idiot box and set back down my mind wandered elsewhere mom came and sat down beside me i waited for her to say something how was your day at school she asked just another day reply i replied did you find something in your geometry box me eagerly trying but failing to suppress her smile what i explained how did you know about it mom was so pleased to see that amazement on my face i wrote it for you she laughed loudly how can i forget it's your birthday tomorrow ah oh, my mother of course well that explains everything now after all wasn't she known to do such little things that one could never forget she once sold off my english notebook along with the newspapers made me carry a giant umbrella to the school picnic which even had the teachers amused <laughs> she had an opinion about my choices of television programs and now she was a lady who sent a message of love to make her teenage son smile the day before his birthday mothers every little child's first and enduring love and my mom is no different as for sharmila well that's another story altogether hope you liked the story do give us your feedback we would love to hear from you